Smith from Melly B's Creative Studio, and thank you for joining me again today. I have another set of paintings to review for you, or to unbox, or to give you my opinion of, you know, however you want to say it. Some of you know that a few months ago, I ordered Craft Ease paintings. I ordered two of them. Because of the guts of the pandemic is when I ordered, it took months to get the order. So I did a video on them and I did not add them to my trusted sites at that time because I was on the fence and I, even though I mentioned them, I just was kind of like, it might take a while and whatever. Well, recently I got an email from Crafties and they said they saw my video and they were very upset that they had disappointed me and wanted me to give their paintings another shot. So they asked me to pick a couple of them out of a couple of their different categories. One is framed, one is not framed. We're gonna talk about it and look at them right quick. And let's do a whole new review for Crafties, okay? So the order for these was placed on August the 13th and I received them on August the 27th. So two weeks. And they are boxed nicely. This one obviously is not framed. This one is framed, but they have their own packaging now, which is a very nice touch. All right. Oh, they've totally upscaled everything. So I'm glad that they've done this because now I feel like this will be something I can get behind and encourage. I don't care if somebody gives me something for free. I'm not going to give you a false review. I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to be super honest about it. But just my first impressions of craft, crafties after my first experience, this is like they've taken it up to a whole nother level, okay? They've got a little flap in here that has a thank you coupon for a future purchase, which I love. They've wrapped everything in tissue and they've got nice little stickers holding it together. It's almost like a parchment paper. Okay. So this one has a beautiful rolled canvas with no creases, no damage, and it's a very thick texture, but I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Vacuum sealed paint. Absolutely love vacuum sealed paints. Then I've also gotten a beautiful color photo with the information about the color number as well as the paint by number reference. Then we have a little bit more of an upscale set of brushes. This is a wooden set and they look actually pretty nice. Um, so four of those. And this is a do-it-yourself paint tray. How clever is that? So all you have to do is, I've always loved package design. So this just like excites me because I'm a freaking nerd. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna bend up your edges you're gonna tuck in these little flaps. You're gonna bend this over and it's gonna tuck in. There's a little slot right there. And that's where it tucked into. So you see it just created this little box. So same on this side, Tap, uh, flaps in, bend it up, and then bend this down and it will fit nicely into that little notch right there. And look, we have a little tray for our paints. Very clever, very, very clever. Inside the box is gonna be a lot of information. It's gonna be instructions, it's gonna give you some tips. That's what I do, that is my job. I'm gonna be the one to give you tips. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set that aside. And okay, so we have our stickers for our paints. So a lot of people get concerned about you know, about the paints that have a color number instead of a paint by number number reference. But you guys, all you have to do, and I'm seeing that this is kind of the way things are going. This seems to be the new trend. That way color numbers are the same for each company. Oh, I didn't even tell you which one this was, you guys. I mean, you can see it here, but I've been dying to get Starry Night. I don't know why. I've been wanting to paint Starry Night since I first started Paint My Numbers 
and I would look very closely at the ones that I've seen and I was like, no, nah, that doesn't have the right blues. That doesn't have the right purples. That doesn't have the, and I have not been able to decide on one. And this one, look at that palette. Like it is so delicious that you know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I love them, love these colors. And I know some of them might end up being a little transparent. I can't just watch them all for you guys because I know it's boring for you to have to, you know, do, me to do that, but I will, I will swatch them before I ever start this piece. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, let's say we have number, I'm just gonna pick a random number up, 363. On our guide, 363 is number 15, okay? And we're just gonna put the number 15 right on there. Let's make sure I'm doing it not, not upside down. Okay, so that's as easy as that is. And that is how you number all your paints. They are in numerical order based on the color number on your printout. So that's how you can find them. Now I notice there's numbers on this little tray. I'm not sure exactly what those are supposed to be for. I mean, I mean, I guess you could put them in that order. That would confuse the, the crap out of me. It looks like they go one through six, seven through 12, 13 through 18, and then they've got the other ones on the side. You put them in there however you want to because I am a weirdo and have to do it a very specific way. Mine will be one through, you know, one, one through 24. But you can do it this way if you want. So basically when I'm putting this little pot in here that I have a sticker on, number 13 is right there. Number 15. Now, the only thing I'm noticing is that because of this little piece of plastic, they don't wanna sit down in this little tray very well. So in this situation, that is when I would use the phone trays that I have received and I'm gonna start selling um, to, to organize them. And I'm gonna show you what I have here. I hadn't even done the video yet. I have, a, I have 25 sets of foam trays. For those who haven't seen my storage ideas, I use these black meal planning trays from Amazon with lids. And this is how I organize my paintings. So I would put all of these little individual pots in here. I will add these to a foam tray later when I start to work on it. But while I'm not working on it, I'm just gonna put them down in here. And then I will put all of the little accessories that come with it. This is not gonna fit in there. I'm not worried about that, but I do want this photo in there. And then I will put the lid on it and this, painting is ready for me to start working on whenever I'm ready to start working on it. So let's do a few colors of swatching on this particular painting. It is a very, very thick canvas. I mean like very thick, high quality. They have rolled it on a little rod, which gives it a lot of stability. I cannot use this as a sword with my grandchildren because somebody would get hurt. It'd probably be me. Oh. So their lines are red and their numbers are kind of a gray. They're not a vibrant black, which is great because we don't want to have to cover vibrant black if we don't have to, right? There is a reference guide, love it, and it's very clear. And let's test a couple paints. This is a very deeply grooved canvas. This one would require two, maybe even three layers of clear gesso. I do thin layers, so I'd rather build it up than to have like a big thick clumpy layer. So that's how I do it. But anyway, so now let's get our little set here. I only numbered a few of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with those that I've just numbered. Now I am a little concerned about this little, little booger right here. He is some fluorescent kinda, kinda color. All right, I might try to do that one too. Imagine the easiest way to leave this canvas out is to lay it, turn it over on its the, on the front and let it lay lay down for a while and put some books on the corners and I feel like that would just flatten this right out. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal at all. Okay, so number nine is gonna be right here. This little, I put it on backward. I'm never gonna know the difference between number nine and number, number six now. All right, so let's do number nine. Check the consistency of these paints. Fluorescent yellow is scary to me because I know it's not gonna have the best coverage. Oh, it has zero coverage. So what would I do in this case, you guys? Number nine. 
No answers? Who's got the answer? I'd add some white paint to this color in my pot, or I would switch it out with Artezas, or I would use a white Sharpie down, even though this is not a white background, I don't care, I would use a white Sharpie down under it, and then it hopefully would cover better, or white acrylic paint, or whatever you wanna do. Let's try this 15 right here. That was thick, okay. So this one I thought would be opaque, but it's more like a jelly type of paint. And it might be because the canvas is slick and it's just moving around and it's kind of leaving stroke marks. Because I think if I gesso this first, it's gonna be a different situation. I really do. I feel like I feel like that paint would be a lot better if I had clear gesso down. I say that every time, I know, but y'all, those who've used it now have used clear gesso or like, you were not kidding, it made the biggest difference. So I really do believe it's one of those things. If I had to pick two things to get for my paint by numbers, clear gesso and Liquitex Flow Aid. That covered really well. And I know it would even do better, like I said, if we had this gesso. So. Let's try number 17, which happens to be right here also. And then we're gonna to move to our second painting. Oh my God, y'all. I mean, I'm like, I don't even know how to paint right now. I don't know why y'all watch me. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's move to the next one. Paints are pretty good. I think I'm really gonna struggle until this is just it. I've had a lot of um, viewers and members tell me that they've had really good experiences with Crafty's company. So I'm going to not judge their paints until I can get some gesso on this, which means I'm gonna have to try to do that and then come back to it and give you more ideas about what I think of this. So let me get this rolled up and we're gonna work on number two painting that I haven't shown you yet. If you guys are looking to find these prep um, the meal prep containers, they're fabulous. You get 50 for $19.99 in the US. If you're with Amazon and um, mine were prime shipping. So you know how good a deal, of a deal that is. And I use them for food, but then I take some and use them for my paint by numbers. And so that's how I'm organizing these now. So let's get into this box here. This one will be a framed piece. And here is the picture. pretty cool and I'm gonna to try to do this without knocking over my mount. It says turn your craft ease box into your own easel in three simple steps. Wow you guys that's awesome. All right so let's <laughs> I'm as excited about the box as I am the painting. Okay so this painting is already framed which I'm starting to like a lot better um, than I used to like. So I'm gonna show you this in a minute and let's, I just think it's really cool that the box can be turned into an easel because sometimes that's all I need is just something to prop it up a little bit. So it would just sit, you know, it'll just sit like, I can't do this with my freaking camera. Anyway, very cool. The box is a twofer, I love it. They have definitely upscaled their, their company. They have definitely stepped it up a notch or about 10 notches. There is my reference guide. Here is my thank you coupon. My number stickers for my, my paint pots. Here's our little tray that they've given us to make. I think this is a scratch art piece. It's like a bonus. That's super cool. I'm gonna have to check into that. And now here is a, yep, that's a scratch art piece, you guys. Oh, that's cool. It's like a threefer. Is that even a word? It sounds like reefer, sorry. Okay, um, I'm like super excited right now. I'm gonna show you how they have this, the paint pots in here. They, they just have a little sticker that's holding them in and then you can pull them out and you're gonna have your other hanging hardware, wooden paint brushes. Make sure I don't have anything else in here before I move this box. Okay. 
and I'm gonna move the scratch art out of the way, but like y'all, that might be a another video I can do is show how to do that. That is so cool. All right, I'm gonna set it out of the way. I'm super excited, super duper excited. All right, so I'm going to put my brushes in my little box and I'm gonna keep out my paint. Oh my gosh, look at the palette. When do I not say that? Like every freaking time I say, look at that palette. <laughs> Obviously, I like the palette or I wouldn't have chosen the painting, right? Oh, one thing I'm doing that you should never do is put anything on top of your canvas. I almost forgot this, this was under here. So let me put these in my meal planning tray real quick and just get it out of the way and off the canvas until we're gonna do our swatches. Okay, so let's move our reference guide. This is gonna be so fabulous. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. I had him upside down. Okay, I was like, why are the numbers upside down? Y'all, I never told you I'm smart. <laughs> I've never ever misguided you and told you that I had a brain. All right, so anyway, red lines, black numbers, but they're light gray. They're not as super black like some of them are. Beautiful. I've had a lot of people ask me why the canvas has like a colored background. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know why they do it, but I'm gonna tell you what I've learned about that. It is a super handy little tool because even though it seems like, what? If I'm sitting here, let's say I'm painting number 14. So I am painting number 14. And then I, you know how you normally just go, you have to look around and you're like digging for number 14. Where's the next number 14? It actually helped me when I did the Anna Banana painting last time to find the next number 14, you know, because the color, the shading is very similar. So, you know, here, all these are threes. And you know that because they're all the same color. Three, 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 three. You, you see what I'm saying? So I don't know why they do it, but I do use it for that reason. Like that's how I use the, the tint on the background. All right, so what I wanna do real quick is I do want to swatch a few of these. I'm going to put my paints here. Let me just try, go ahead and try this one. And while I've got it, I'm gonna go ahead and put my little sticker on it. Making sure I've got it right side up. There we go. And let's try number 12. The paints are definitely gonna be used with some Flow Aid. All right, guys, I've come to a decision here. First of all, I want you to look at this palette. Look, look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> okay, let me give you a couple things first. I'm not gonna do any more swatching until I gesso both of these canvas pieces from Crafties. I am so accustomed to having great coverage right off the bat so I'm gonna do that so I can test these in the way that I normally would use them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video and I'm going to do that. I'm gonna just sew them and after that dries and it's ready, I'm gonna bring them back and I'm gonna do swatches with it gessoed and see if I like the, the, better, the, the coverage better. So one more thing I wanna say, they have given me a coupon for you guys to save you some money. And I'm going to put that promo code down in the description. You guys, the description is there. The links are there. You have to look at the title of this video. To the right of that is a little arrow. Click the arrow, it will drop down all the information that I spend forever typing and getting ready for you guys. It will have the link to Crafties. It will have the coupon code. And so, you know, be watching for that. But in the meantime, we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna go gesso these pieces and I'm gonna come back later and finish this review for you. Okay, so I went ahead and I put on two layers of clear gesso. Because of this canvas being so highly textured, I went ahead and put two layers on. It may even need a third but I'm not gonna do that right now. I figure two is enough. Let's just go ahead. And also I have put the number stickers on my paints. I have duplicates of 14 and 13 and nine. Um, and so I will just use a Sharpie to write those numbers on these particular ones that have duplicates. 
But in the meantime, I've never seen in all the paintings I've gotten a more beautiful palette of blues and greens. I mean, it's stunning. So I'm hoping, really hoping that I'm gonna get some better coverage now that I have put down some clear gesso. One thing I didn't mention is this painting is called Silent Journey and it is by Christine Chalowski. I believe is how you say her last name. And so this is one of the exclusive artist pieces at Crafties. So they have a few artists who will only give Crafties permission to take their artwork and make a paint by number out of it. So this is an exclusive piece. You're not gonna find it elsewhere. And if you do find it elsewhere, then it has pretty much been copyright violated. I hope that made sense. I want to try this number one, this very coral salmon color right here. And I did not put Flow Aid into my paint or anything yet. Uh, I may go ahead and do that while I'm testing, but I'm gonna just go ahead and start. If you have Flow Aid in it, you tend to not have thick sections and whatever. So let me grab some Flow Aid. And I have my little eyedropper and I just like to leave it down in my flow aid and if I need some I have a little more control with my dropper than I do without it but I want to try some of these really beautiful blue greens down in here and I'm gonna add a little flow aid I'm gonna do it where it's not over my canvas I'm gonna put in two drops and then I'm gonna stir it stir it but I'm not gonna stir it over my canvas but I wanna show you, I'm gonna take what's in the lid and put it down in here before I stir. And that way I can use all of this paint and it'll have the flow aid in it also. So I get as much of that out of there as I can. See how it gets kind of choppy when it's a thick paint? It'll do that before it thins out. And so a lot of people will use their flow aid diluted. I've, I do it both ways. It depends on the consistency of the paint to begin with, but you see how it's starting to get creamy. And now I'm gonna add one more drop. It's better to add less than more, but if you get too much, you can let it sit and it will thicken up a little bit over time. So I'm gonna stir this a little more. You can see it starts out as kind of choppy. I bring it from the bottom up to the top and I just get that really mixed in really well. But like I said, if you need it a little thinner even still, you would use a little jar and put 20 drops of water for every one drop of Flow Aid and that is how you use it diluted. And I use that same little eyedropper. This probably could technically be even thinner, but I'm going to leave it like that. And let's just try this number. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, the coverage is so much better now that I have gesso. I don't know why I'm losing my voice again. I'm sorry, y'all. I wanna keep recording. I wanna do that same color again. I think it was number 12, but I'm gonna pick a different one and see if it covers better now that we have gesso down. And I'm gonna use a little flow aid. Okay, so I've got a little bit of flow aid in there. Let's try a, let's try a larger number 12, just so we can see if it made a big difference by putting down the, the um, gesso. Wow, that gesso made all the difference. It made such a huge difference. So I'm gonna go ahead while I've got this color and I've realized this is what number 12, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this 
over the top so that it is totally covered. Oh my gosh, that is fabulous. Such a better paint with the gesso down. Okay guys, so what have we decided here? First of all, I've given Crafties a second chance and I am so thrilled that I did. I'm so glad they reached out to me and I'm so happy with the two pieces of artwork that I chose. I love this turtle especially and I'm just, and just passionate about these colors. I'm super excited about their packaging. I'm really looking forward to trying that box as an easel. And um, I'm just so happy that they've really stepped up their game because there's no doubt in my mind that I would purchase from them again now. So I have a promo code for you guys and I'm going to leave it for you here and also in the description. 20% is definitely a really great coupon. So I hope you guys will use it and give them a shot. I'm super happy with these paintings. I'm like, oh, I just, I wish I had more time in my life to just sit here and paint. And you know, I just love it. This one's just gonna be so gorgeous. All right, you guys, thank you as always for being here with another Legit of Scam. And they're definitely legit. Please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified of my future videos. I'm recording all the time now, so I will have lots of great videos to come. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment if you love these pieces as well as I do. And go join us at the group. Everything you need to know about all these companies and the products that I'm using and the group and everything are in the description below. All right, thank you guys as always for watching. I'll see you soon.